Hello everybody, this is Andrew again and today I'm gonna remake or better uh, revise a previously made tutorial of mine uh, the tutorial that you can see here on the screen about how to make menus and submenus in PHP and MySQL now uh, this video of mine was well received and well commented and I take the opportunity to thank you guys for that but as pointed out but uh, by one of you uh, guys here uh, a guy named or better to say a guy named Delta 1036 uh, this guy here made a point by saying that uh, this way would require too many queries to be executed each time that uh, this function uh, searched for a submenu. Now, back then I didn't know a better way to do that and this guy here kindly sent me a link with a better way or let's say a new way to do that which required only one query and uh, I learned a lot from this link here which I recommend you to visit for yourself and but this link here had only one problem that didn't explain how to output in HTML all of the code so I after many tests I found a way to do that so I wanted to share with you so let's quickly begin what we have here is the code the old which I called the old way this is the function that displays all the menus here in HTML I'm going to quickly explain to you this. Uh, this function retrieves records from a MySQL database table here, which I will have called tutorials, and the table is called menus. I'm going to show you the structure here. The structure here is this table is composed by three fields. The first field is ID, which auto increments, nothing special. The second is name which is the name of the menu or category or whatever you want to call it and the third one is parent ID this parent ID takes, takes the, uh, as uh, value the ID of the parent menu so if I have for example as you can see here in this example we have a parent ID of 4 and this 4 is the ID of the contact page here and as you can imagine this in the HTML this about page will be displayed below this contact page as you can see here so this is the output so we have services and below services we have contact so we have services below services we have contact because the parent ID of the services here as you can see is 4 but now I want to show you the new way so a better way to do that more performance wise and I'm going to collapse this I'm going to leave the code here as it is because we still need to be connected to the database and I'm going to quickly write the new comment the new functions so the first function will be the function to loop all the array I'm gonna show you what I mean at first this function will not make any sense but trust me later on you will understand and you will find it very easy to do the function loop array I'm gonna pass two parameters here the first will be array and will be equal to array the second one will be the same as this one here copy then inside here we're gonna check if in this array here actually exists any item so let's say if empty so it this is not empty empty array and as a key it will take this parent ID as the key so if in this array if this array has any key with this value here 
whatever value this parent ID may take might take so for example here we're going to echo out a ul tag then we need to loop everything we need to loop this array so I'm gonna copy this code here copy and I will say for each for each this array as items then I'm gonna echo out on a light tag and I'm gonna echo out the items sorry about that name echo out a light tag close the light tag and then close the ul tag and that's it for this now I'm gonna create a, uh, another function which I will call display menus revised this function will not take any arguments inside here will happen the query of the data SQL select everything from from menus right query my SQL query SQL now what's gonna be different here is that we will loop everything out here and we will pass an array variable this array will, uh, variable will be called rows for example I don't know uh, you name it but I will be just basic array is equal to array now if my SQL um, rows query so we have any result here let's make quick look or die SQL error I'm gonna test this for any errors no there are no errors okay we are good to go then so we found any rows here we will loop all the rows query now this is the part where uh, this function will come to handy we will populate first we will populate this array here with some data we'll say array and as key it will take rows parent ID and as value will take rows so everything that is found inside this rows variable here which is retrieved by, th by this mysql fetch array now after doing this I will call this function here inside copy and then I'm gonna erase everything here array so this function here will loop this array and this parameter will take this parent ID here which by default is zero but then later it will display everything out and it will do that by calling the function inside itself copy this paste here we'll leave this array and here instead of this parent ID we will pass the ID of the record that is currently being shown here on the loop so items ID let's make a little space here I'm gonna save now I'm gonna comment out this code here and instead of this I'm gonna paste this new way I'm gonna test to the browser for any errors 
okay everything is playing fine now as you can see here or if you have noticed this function here requires only one function only one query to be executed so will be f a lot faster than this one here which required a lot of queries to be executed you can imagine if you had for example 30 submenus or 40 submenus or categories or whatever you want to call them it would be a huge amount of time it would take a huge amount of time to be executed speaking of the servers if you work on a software that uses the LAN that uh, would not be a problem but with you uh, publish this on uh, on the internet that would be a very problem for the internet connection so this is the new way of doing this i hope you enjoy the tutorial and thanks for watching